Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mike, the Bowtie Vet Guy. Today I'm gonna to give you my top tips for keeping your pet calm when you are away. And then this intro. Yeah, intro. Yeah, boom, the one. How do you keep your dog calm when you're gone? Especially if you live in an apartment, you don't want it barking. The number one thing you have to do, exercise. You might have to get up early. You might have to get up just a little bit early, take your dog for a walk, go out, throw the ball for it in the backyard, but tire that dog out. It will be less likely to be barking and yelling when you leave. Number two, distractions. Distractions. So for distractions, you can use things like food puzzles. See, stuff that with some peanut butter, or mashed potatoes that like you free and put in the freezer and freeze it and they'll sit there for hours just going like I don't care if you leave. Music is a great one. There have been several studies that have looked at dogs and their behavior while they're being left by owners and while they're in kennels and at the vet and not surprisingly classical music does better than heavy metal music. You probably could condition your dog to like heavy metal music. Yeah, but Overall, classical music did better. There's a whole bunch of videos out there on YouTube that you can find that are just calming music for animals. Uh, the calmer, the better. Then there are a lot of supplements out there and pheromones and the thunder shirt. Um, these are things that work uh, somewhat like drugs, but not exactly. I've talked about some of these things before. Pheromones. This is a collar that has a pheromone, which is a chemical signal that one animal puts out that affects the behavior of another animal. This one is a collar that puts out a pheromone that the mother puts out when she's nursing that just says to everybody, calm down man, everything's okay, it's all cool. These are two supplements that I like a lot, Zilkeen and Soliquin. They have in them a milk protein called alpha casozapine, which has been shown to decrease noise phobia in dogs. We think it works by potentiating GABA. GABA is a neurotransmitter in the brain that just sort of calms everything down. You know, like when you start to get nervous and you're like, oh my God, I'm nervous and now my heart's beating fast and I should be nervous and I feel nervous and everything's nervous. Well, this sort of calms that down. Something new that's come on the market recently are a plethora, which means a lot, of uh, cameras that are like Wi-Fi cameras that can show you what your dog is doing and some of these will even have treat dispensers so you can be away from your pet and teach it to go up uh, to the camera and then you go oh look there you go I'm at work but I just gave you a treat and I got to talk to you and now my dog doesn't care so much that I'm gone there's a whole bunch of these on the market the nice thing about the cameras is they can actually tell you how much of a problem you have I actually had a client one time that the uh, the apartment manager was saying, we're getting all these complaints about your dog barking, dog barking. They got a Wi-Fi camera and they found out when the complaints were happening, it wasn't their dog. It was the neighbor dog upstairs. So make sure your dog actually has these problems. There's a lot of things that you can do that uh, can make things worse and things that can make things better. Things that can make things better, ignoring um, behavior that you don't want. So if they're really excited when you come home, just kind of ignore that. Let them calm down first. Let them just sort of go like, oh, everything's okay. And then uh, calm is when I get rewarded. Oh, okay, when you come home, it's no big deal. When you leave, it's no big deal. Just be calm. So those are some tips to help your pet be calm when you are gone. If you have serious problems, they're doing damage to themselves or to the house, be sure to visit your vet right away.